make his way through the, uh, the bit of a jungle that it is out there, the Tar Heel Nissan Mini Stocks here, as they have already had their first caution, yet they haven't ran an official lap. The 41 machine easing away out. Tim Campbell out of Brown Summit. Sets to go. Green flag racing. And we are underway. The green waves. And look at the one on the inside. Jeff Cole trying to dive there. And once again, Campbell can't get the call to speed. Problems in the transmission. Something's wrong with that car. Exactly. He can't get out of low gear, apparently. And he's fallen all the way back. He's, not, he's just out of the back stretch and almost into the, uh, the rear of the field. Now he is up to speed. But up front, it is the Robert Carmichael car number three who has the advantage on Jerry Brown as they move back into turn number one. Three wide into turn number one. Behind him, Trader Dunnington had to dive to the inside as he took the position from Gene Lawson in the 21 car. Now Lawson, a year is back with Robert Aldridge. Carmichael has uh, taken the flag up in the Lisa's Beauty Care Machine and really driven the Volkswagen well. Brown in front, Carmichael, then Lawson, followed by the 32 machine of Dean Baumgartner as they come off the corner. A gaggle of cars around Trader Dunnington. Dunnington's not entry is not doing well tonight. He is, it is Carmichael, Brown. Now Lawson got himself a battle with Dean Bumgarner. The fourth place racer looks to the inside, coming off corner number four. Lawson and Bumgarner really on the move. They have closed ground on the front two drivers significantly. Lawson maintains the position as they come out of turn two, but they're moving up on the governor. Jerry Brown is up front. It's Robert Carmichael with about a six-car advantage as he turns, comes out of turn four and heads down to the start-finish line. Halfway right now, ten laps down, ten to go, and the leader is Robert Carmichael right over Jerry Brown, and then it's He's got about a four-car length advantage. It's about similar advantage back to the third. Oh, and a big bunch of smoke and a problem. There goes the 41 car, the Brown Summit entry, the engine exploding. It was a problem early. He's in his own oil, but he did not contact the wall. He's just stuck up there under the Cuddly Knight's waterbed sign. And a problem for Tim Campbell as the engine has let loose. Caution on the racetrack. It'll be one to go when they come back around as they move out of turn two. It is the leader. That's Robert Carmichael. Jerry Brown will go second. Third place belongs to Gene Lawson. Dean Bumgarner is fourth. And the fifth place runner is Keith Woody. That's your top five as they go ever so slowly into turn three. Donnie Carver has the green flag. He's ready to send them racing for ten more green flag laps. And there's the flag coming out of turn three into turn four. Carmichael with an exceptional jump. Already at the start-finish line, about an eight-car length advantage on Jerry Brown. Bumgarner has made the pass on Lawson. Keith Woody is trying to get around Lawson on the outside. Cannot. Bumgarner is trying to challenge for second spot on the inside of Jerry Brown as they head into turn three. Makes the pass and has picked up two spots since the start. Out in Michael, back into turn one. And it looks like Governor Brown has lost proposition 32 and 21 in a row. It looks like 24 is coming up for a vote and he might not get that one. Brown dropping back in the field as the 32 and 21 pass him. Baumgartner and Lawson slip to second and third behind Robert Carmichael. The lap's winding down and now the 24 dives to the inside. Keith Woody will move into the second spot and he's hard on it coming out of corner number two. Michael Dean Bumgarner is in second place and with six laps to go has to get on and really make a charge if he's going to catch Robert Carmichael. Carmichael's Volkswagen has been on rails and we've got uh, Trader uh, Dunnington spinning but managed to hold it coming out and lost control in turn four managed to hold on and stayed right in front of Clint Thomas. That could have been decisive and a significant situation with five laps to go. Carmichael across the line. Bumgarner and Increasing his level of participation, getting up now. It looks like maybe a top three competitor on a weekly basis if he can continue this kind of run. He's in a good car, and I would venture to say that's the form of Rod Barber, Dean Ward car. By knowing the shape of that entry, that, that looks like it. And if that's so, that is a championship car, and Dean Bumgarner's, Bumgarner's got himself a, a winning piece right off the trailer. And Trader Tunnington up into six is the white flag for Robert Carmichael as he heads into turn one. Carmichael through corner number one, looks down the back straightaway. The Volkswagen with an enormous lead. He'd have to all but stop under power out there to lose this one. Bumgarner in the same situation above Gene Lawson. They come off corner number four and a strong win for the Lisa's Beauty Shop car. That is Carmichael taking the checkers. Bumgarner finishes second, Lawson third, Brown fourth, Woody fifth, and Trader Dunnington coming across with a sixth place finish. That's got to be a salvage. Dean Bumgarner receiving accolades from his friends and fans down in uh, Victory Lane. And Dean, is this the, the former championship car? And if it is, you drove it just like it should be driven. Good run. <laughs> well, thanks. I appreciate that. I'd like to first of all thank God who made all this possible. Uh, I would also like to thank a lot of people. <laughs> uh, Paul Hastings, Robert McDaniel.
Daniel, my wife Carol. I'd also like to thank Adam Sign, Bobby and Connie Adams. They've helped me a lot the past couple of years. What was it like out there on the racetrack as you were closing in those last laps? You saw your leader out there. You had a comfortable run. This has got to feel good. Yeah, it does, but I think that Robert was uh, easing up a little bit on me because uh, I haven't had anything for him hardly all month, uh, month of March. We've been out here practicing, but uh, we've been pretty close, but uh, I think he might have been easing up a little bit right there at the last. I was trying awfully hard there. Well, uh, try a little harder, and you got one more place. I'd like to also say uh, I'd like to thank uh, uh, Hypo Kim for coming on board this year and also help you sell of Greensboro. Appreciate it, and a good running car here.